Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. I don't know why I'm vlogging myself in the mirror like this, I, it's because I was going to show you what I'm wearing but it's not exactly riveting content. But welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a new vlog. I thought I'd pick up the camera this morning because I'm heading out to see a friend. I'm going to go meet Lydia for a nice little dog walk, hopefully the rain will hold off. But we're going to go to Tatton Park which is in Nutsford. And there's a Neptune in Nutsford, so I thought I would pop in before we go for the walk and take the dog, have a little bit of a mooch, go meet with Lydia, um, and then get back. And I want to do some filming this afternoon for another video. But depending on whether or not what time I get back, I'll carry this vlog on today, if not tomorrow. But I am planning on within this video a bit of a kitchen tour. Now when I say kitchen tour, it might not be like a finished kitchen tour, it might be a bit of a kitchen sort out and organise more than anything. I need to clear out some cupboards, restock some bits, but we're just going to see where this vlog takes us. Might end up being a bit of a Neptune haul if we get lucky, fingers crossed. But anyway, what I am wearing today, um, just to be a nice and comfy and casual, I've got my little crossbody bag from Uniqlo, my Anina Bing uh, hoodie with an Abercrombie t-shirt on underneath, some leggings from Abercrombie and Fitch, these ones are actually, they're quite old but they're nice and comfortable, some little Adidas socks, I will take these trainers, my new balance because they're a bit grubby anyway, so we'll end up wearing those. If not, I'll put my boots in the car if I need to switch them out. And then I'm also going to take this outer layer like this. It's kind of like a khaki shirt jacket. Hold on, let me put it on. I feel like I showed you this not too long ago and it's, I think it's still in stock. So if it is, I will link it below, but it's literally, I think it's 19.99, I think, maybe even cheaper. But it's honestly the perfect kind of like outer layer jacket, shacket, shirt jacket that you can wear with like a summer's dress, roll the sleeves up, or like I'm wearing today as a bit more of an outer layer with a hoodie layered up underneath it. And then, yeah, a little cross body bag just to carry the poo bags. <laughs> Got my little camera in there as well so that we can head to Neptune and show you some new and bits and hopefully, fingers crossed, they might have the new colour, new season colour, the Orkney white in some of the rooms so we can see it and also hopefully the bags. I feel like Neptune lovers will appreciate that. <laughs> Anyone else? Like, it's a bit mental that you're going to buy something just to get the the free carrier bag but um no we'll see what they've got anyway let's get on the road make sure you are set and comfy and cozy for this vlog with a nice drink in hand snacks and right next to you and without further ado let's head over to neptune linen almost it's called Hepworth Natural and yeah it's a really nice finish if you're after wallpaper and this is just it contrast against the white and this herringbone floor I've never thought to use wallpaper but this is lovely really nice and from afar it just kind of looks like a textured textured wall subtly um and yeah just having a quick mooch also, a couple of the rooms are painted in the new Orkney white, which is like a really nice warm white. So I've been able to see it on the walls for a couple of the rooms. And yeah, it is lovely. Kind of thinking if we've got any space to repaint, that it would be a lovely kind of finish to do. I love this bedroom. It's like very green, cream. Honestly, major inspo whenever I come here. The dream, the dream house.
a very successful trip in Neptune and I can see obviously they've not got the cushions and everything out today but all the outdoor furniture is out but it's just so it's like drizzling most of the day so yeah they've obviously got all them put away but yeah I've got a couple of bits and can you see a sneak peek of the new colour bag it's definitely like a real creamy yellowy not yellowy but well yeah I suppose more lemony colour I was the first one to get the bag because they actually didn't have them out but I saw one of the staff members she had one and I thought well there's got to be some somewhere so I just said is there any chance you happen to have any of the new coloured bags and she went let me just go check the storage room for you and um, they had one so yeah if you, if you want the new bag and they haven't got them out yet just ask because if they've got them they'll go and get you one but anyway I am how far off maybe tw 15 minutes before going to meet Lydia and just up the road there is a little farm shop so I might go and pop in and just have a quick look see if there's any bits that I want to pick up for tea tonight maybe and um and then I'm going to head over to Tatton Park or to Nutsford and meet with Lydia but first stop Farm shop. Hey, I heard you got a new best friend. Yet it's a bit I won't pretend that it doesn't matter that you're with someone else. Mm. In a way, that's how it's supposed to be. If I'm unable to make you happy, just parked up. Message Lydia. She's um. She's also parked up, but just a bit like a street further down. So I'm going to go meet her. I'm literally just going to pop my boots and I'm going to have to put my full waterproof coat on because it is raining. And this is a prime example of how our dogs are polar opposite. Okay, so she's just messaged saying, should we give it a minute? Stop the rain because Otty won't get out the car. And I'm like, Barney's crying to get out the car. Honestly, polar opposite breeds. But anyway, I am going to get my jacket on, get all waterproofed up. In fact, I won't need to bring this bag. We'll just take the bits out of it because I'll have my pockets, my coat. I should pop a bit of Carmex on. Uh, I did get a couple of bits from the uh, lambing shed. I actually got, lambing shed's the farm shop I went to by the way. A scotch egg that I thought oh I'd just nibble on now because it's one o'clock and I haven't really had lunch but it's like semi frozen which is kind of annoying because I was gonna eat it now so I might just have to wait until we get back to the car yeah I bit into it and it it was okay but I can just tell it's a little bit frozen so yeah that's annoying um maybe we'll get a bite to eat somewhere else although I did get I didn't even necessarily want this, but I just thought as something else to have. A bit of a sweet treat. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely craving something savoury, but never mind. I can always wait till we get home. But yeah. Right, yeah, so I don't really need that. Need poo bags though take a hair bubble. I always like to take a hair bubble with me. Take this coat. Are we ready to go, Barney? He says, yes, mum. I was born ready. Oh, this is Lydia now. Heading to the entrance, right? Off we go. Oh, I can He's like, I can smell it. <laughs> That's why I wrote you a letter Cause you see I write so much better That ended up being a very wet, drizzly walk So much for curling my hair this morning We're going with a beachy, bedraggled look now But yeah, lovely catch up nonetheless We were saying or we, would, we could have easily sort of rearranged for the next couple of days But honestly it's meant to be like this for a while so you know we've got dogs that need walking so we just commit anyway but yeah I'm feeling a little a little more bedraggled than I was earlier so we're gonna get back have some lunch hopefully a defrosted scotch egg 
and I'll show you those bits either today or tomorrow. I'm not sure when I'll next pick up the camera, but if it's tomorrow, we'll see you tomorrow. If it's later on today, I'll see you later on today. <laughs> For you guys, it doesn't really make a difference. Hello guys, it is actually the next day. Brand new day, I am um, just at home. I'm home alone and it feels very bizarre, but Tom has just left to go do a long walk at Dovestone Reservoir, which is honestly, if you're local to, or if you're Manchester based, it's 30 minutes outside of Manchester, a beautiful walk. Just on the cusp of the Peak District, so really, really pretty. And yeah, he has gone there with a couple of work friends. He's taken Barney, so they are out for a nice long walk. I'm just looking at the chaos in our garden. It's <laughs> the sight of it at the moment is just chaotic. Anyway, um, and yeah, so I'm gonna crack on with a bit of kitchen organization. There's a bit of, I'll give you a bit of a rundown as well, actually, before I get on with that in terms of our kitchen, where it's from, costs, things like that, because I feel like I've not done ever a dedicated kitchen tour since having our kitchen in. So I'll give you a quick overview of the kitchen, but there's a couple of cupboards in particular that I want to tackle today with them being like my seasonal decor bits. And having had Easter so early this year, there's quite a few Easter things that I want to maybe pop away. When I say Easter, I'm talking like Easter. Like I still want nice spring things out. Like for instance, this vase from Neptune with the Neptune stems. See, they're fine to keep out, but the little eggs that are dangling off of it. The carrots in that bowl, there's like a bunny up there. A couple of those bits I'm gonna box away and put away. Um, so yeah, I was thinking I've got a couple of cupboards. I'll show you them now. Okay, they're really like chaotic, so let me just apologize um, like in advance. But it's this cupboard next to the fridge, which I have seasonal decor in. Those two, well, three shelves there. So we've got a mixture of Christmassy bits, non-seasonal bits, Easter, Valentine's, pumpkins, all sorts. So I am gonna have a bit of a clear out and uh, sort through that. I will show you actually what we're having for dinner for when Tom gets back with his friends. There's a football game on, so we're gonna head over to the pub in the village, watch that, and then come home. So we're gonna have a slow roast on today. And I know a few of you said, show more of Tom's cooking. So he has prepped this, I'll show it to you now. We're planning on eating at about, I need to clear all this. I've literally just put everything in the dishwasher, put the dishwasher on, but obviously as you can tell, I need to wipe the surface. But um, we're putting this on at um, midday for about five hours. And I just take off this foil and show you. Oh, foil and grease proof paper. We have lamb in there along with it smells really good as well. Some oregano, dried oregano, bay leaves, thyme, potatoes, onions, carrots, garlic, and that is just gonna slow cook all day, pretty much, well, all afternoon, ready for us to eat after the football has finished tonight. So I'm gonna pop that on in a couple of hours. I'll show you as well, I built this yesterday, and I've basically added a bit of a console by the front door. So I'm sure this will get switched out quite regularly in terms of, uh, you know, styling, and I might, I'm unsure on the basket situation underneath. I've just pulled these up from downstairs, but essentially this little console table is from Amazon. I will leave it linked, and then the baskets that I got underneath, we've got just a little shoe and dog lead basket there. Um, that is from, they're both from Dunelm. This is like a umbrella one, so I might not keep this here, because the idea is like having tall umbrellas in. Um, the, I was gonna keep that down in the utility or put it there, but then it's a bit too snug getting the door open. So for now, it's just staying there. Um, a little drawer on this as well. I've just popped a couple of books, nice little notebooks. So if we ever need to, there's a pen in the drawer. So if ever we need to like jot something down, this is always here and to hand. This was from HomeSense, really nice linen notebook. My little Asda pot and Poundland plant. A electric diffuser, I can't remember. If I can find it, I'll leave it linked. And I just have, in fact, there's some liquid still in there from yesterday, so I'll just turn it on. And then the light, I like to have it on the last setting, which is just white, basically. And that ha currently has the oil from the white company in grapefruit and mandarin, so nice and zesty and citrusy as you walk through the front door. So yeah, that's our new little addition to the front door area. Before we get on with the kitchen, I'll show you the bits that I did get from Neptune and the lambing shed. do you just love a little farm shop visit? I just... <laughs> we have, as you can see, the new colour 
I think next week or the week after, we might be paying the Cotswolds a bit of a visit. So if we do, it's actually even further south than we're going um, towards Salisbury Way. And then en route back, I think I'm gonna go by the Swindon Neptune outlet. We used to live down that way and the Neptune outlet there is much bigger than the Neptune we have here in Nutsford and the Neptune outlet in Leeds as well that I've been to recently. Might do some walks, Lake or Cabbie, Stonehenge. We're taking the dog as well. And then we're gonna stay for a couple of nights. It, this is all, I'm thinking this is gonna happen. I'm pretty, pretty sure it will, but if it does, I'll probably vlog. Let me know if you guys would wanna see that because I think we'll then stay for a couple of nights near sort of Dalesford Farm, Diddley Squats, do all of that kind of fun British countryside road trip with the dog, obviously. Anyway, so let me share with you the bits I got from the farm shop and of course from Neptune. So I got some stems uh, for all year round really. These are a really nice filler stem for the price that Neptune sell their stems at, sort of like the 30 to 50 pound mark. These ones are pretty reasonable because these are only 15 pounds a stem. And like I said, they're a nice filler or you can just leave them by themselves. And I like how the eucalyptus kind of fades to a more um, burnt orange kind of color just on the tips. That I think makes it appropriate for autumn as well as like spring, as a spring stem. So yeah, 15 pounds each, I've got two stems. And then I also spotted I saw this on socials within an outlet. So I'm hoping that if we do go to the outlet down in Swindon that they don't have these. If they do, I'll feel a bit gutted that I pay full price. If they do, maybe I'll get another one, who knows. But they are from, it's a like serving platter from the Bosley range and they didn't have these out. I actually asked if they had any because I'd seen them online. And so they had, um, she did have them but they just, weren't on display, don't know why, but 24 pounds and they're just beautiful. It's basically like a flat cake stand server platter type thing with the Bosley edging detailing. I think 24 pounds for a cake stand. I know it's flat, but a cake stand is really reasonable. And because it is flat, I feel like it doesn't just have to be served as um, a cake stand. It's obviously you could have it as a bit of a display board with maybe a nice little candle botanical candle on maybe a little reed diffuser and ornament of some kind you know it can be used anywhere or even just a server platter for like cold meats and cheeses so 24 pounds from neptune i thought was pretty good for that and then lastly from neptune i just picked up these nightingale candles i just thought the color of them they had four different colors and this olive color was i thought perfect for our kitchen obviously as you can tell the island is green, so we have lots of pops of green. Our downstairs loo, which is just in here, is also, this is the colour on the wall. So, yeah, I'm a big, big fan of that countryside olive green. Hold on, my battery's dying. Let me go replace that before sharing with you the farm shop bits. And we're back. Okay, so, Lemming Shed in Nutsford, beautiful little farm shop. Farm shop and kitchen. I only had one of this design left and I thought moving into spring, we love a little seasonal touch within this house, and moving from spring to summer, so not quite yet, but I'm going to replace the oven, double oven glove and tea towel, as I always do, that sits on the oven. Currently, we've got the ones from the Asda range. They're part of the Stacey Solomon range. Can you see them over there? With little mini carrots on. So, so cute. So we've got those on there currently. But when summer comes around, I'm gonna replace them with this beautiful design from Sophie Allport in the little sunflowers. Oh, they're so nice. So I actually picked this one up originally, the tea towel one, and noticed that they were in the sale. So they were £15.50, but they were reduced down to £7.75 each. Got the matching oven gloves. The double oven gloves weren't in the sale, so I just thought as a set, they're still really nice. So these were £31, um, and yeah, display only. These are not the ones Tom can use, let me just say that. <laughs> these are the ones that I could use and look after, or 
display only. He's always got a tea towel over his shoulder and he'll have like food all on his hands and use it. And I'm like, right, well that tea towel's dirty now. I also picked up a couple of other things. Firstly, a set of, a set? A bag of decaf coffee beans. Rarely do you see decaf coffee beans that have a roast date on. So Tom, with his coffee machine that's in the pantry, um, I tend to just have like, because I like decaf, I just end up getting an instant or an espresso coffee. His fancy coffee that he likes to make, is what I like to call it. If a bag of beans have a expiry date on, generally speaking, they're not gonna make as good coffee. It's not gonna be as fresh. Whereas if they've got a roast date on and it's within sort of a few weeks, then they're much fresher. So this one, finding a decaf with a roast date as opposed to an expiry date is quite rare. So when I saw these, I thought I would pick them up. And then last but not least, I picked up this little mug. Oh, so when I do have one of my stronger posh coffees, fancy coffees, I have it quite short, like as a flat white with just a little splash of milk. This is a little Gisela Graham mug. They had quite a few different ones. These would be good for like a little kids mug as well. A um, few different designs, but I just thought this was a good all year round design with just a little pair of Wellington boots on. I just love it. This is £7.49. Never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back. While I'm on a one way track. Now I the workshop let's start with chatting through the kitchen and i'll start with the workshop because we got these this worked up from a company called gemini they actually gave us this work surface shampoo that i just used to wipe the uh, surfaces with and they um they do work with influencers quite a lot i've noticed but that's kind of like how i discovered them i saw them on um socials they're really like good at doing lots of before and after photos and sharing people's kitchens and different lights you can see um online they do have i think in york a shop that you can actually go to to see the work surfaces in person but they do send out little samples which is what i ordered and um it's hard to tell from samples i'm not gonna lie so if I'm honest with you, I saw a couple of people that had this worktop in particular, which is the Calicata Silver Superior. I don't believe they do the silver one anymore. They do the gold. Um, and it's just a really natural looking quartz in terms of it looks like a marble. And uh, yeah, really, really happy with it. It's not too white, which is what I didn't want. The worktop that we've got downstairs in the utility room with the Howden's cabinets it's quite a white worktop, and I just felt like this looked more natural, softer, and in certain lights, I will admit it looks a little grey. I guess that's the Calicata Silver Superior. So if you're wanting a warmer finish, then the gold one is good anyway. Sorry. So to break down specifics in terms of cost, because also I do feel like it's going to be very different depending on where you are, the size of your kitchen, the finish that you want and everything like that. So I won't sort of say exact prices. I, I will say this kitchen cost us around, you're, you're needing a probably 20 to 25K budget for this kind of a kitchen, at least for us and how we've done it. So I will just mention as well with the worktop, we went for a 30 mil thickness as opposed to the, uh, what a lot of people do is this thinner 20. So they're quite chunky as you can tell, but then on the island we did a, I think they call it an OG edging or double beveled edging, OG edging. Um, and you can actually do this double thickness, which we were going to do, but it was an extra thousand pounds and we just thought, no. So you can have another slab 
layered on top with yet another groove. So it just adds that little extra detailing on the edges, but we decided to just go with the single. Um, it's around about three meters long. The kitchen itself is from DIY Kitchens, which I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit of a back and forwards, bit of a faff. We've made a couple of errors with it, but essentially DIY Kitchens allowed us to go to them with some plans that we had done. Uh, I think I took the Howden's plans. We went to a couple of kitchen places to get overall quotes and costs and ideas and finishes and everything like that. And for, for me, my favorite was DIY Kitchens because of the in-frame kitchen that we've gone for, which was the Helmsley. The back units we've gone for in white, and then we could order a bespoke color for the island. We, the unit color that we went for um, on the base was just on a whim. I was in John Lewis. I saw little green paints, and I saw one color called Invisible Green, and I said, wow. That is the color that somehow has to be within our home. And um, I got a little sample pot of it and they, um, yeah, they paint it for you. So they do it all on site. It gets delivered in that color. They give you a little uh, touch up pot as well of paint. More affordable than the other quotes we were getting. However, because they don't have someone do it all for you, you essentially have to input and design the kitchen online yourself or like what we did send them the plans of somewhere that you've got them from somewhere else and they will kind of add everything to your basket and then it's up to you to make sure it's all correct so it was a bit there were a couple of things that we ordered that didn't quite fit that we had to then order another unit of to make it fit so i think through that we probably lost a couple of hundred pounds not the best customer service but we got there in the end and i'm still happy we went for diy kitchens and that helms the range the in-frame set i just think adds that extra touch it's essentially having this kind of framed border around a cupboard and a drawer so that it just has this framing to it <laughs> a minor negative i suppose to having an in-frame kitchen or at least with diy kitchens anyway is that the drawers that they do where we had all of this unit done with the big kind of pan drawers um, some drawers you can get a sort of an inner drawer that also pulls out so you get this large drawer and then an inner drawer for like cutlery and things with the in frames set they don't do them so you just have literally big pan drawers or smaller cutlery drawers which is fine we just had two cutlery drawers added up top and then the four larger pan drawers on the bottom the handles and hardware is also from diy kitchens we've got all of our appliances which are aeg all again from diy kitchens they had a price match option so that if we were to find the same thing somewhere else we could have it price matched and not only that they also had an offer on at the time whereby if you bought i think it was three AUG appliances, you would get a free dishwasher. So we actually have two dishwashers. And let me tell you, if you can have two dishwashers, especially in a kitchen this size, it is the best thing. We were a bit like thinking, is that too excessive? Every single time we've hosted, we've said, thank God we've got a second dishwasher, because honestly, it's just such a luxury. And it's, when I say in terms of having a kitchen this size, what I mean by that is there's plenty of storage space for other things. So you're not taking away from that really with a dishwasher. In fact, we are far more beneficial having that second dishwasher and we've used it far more than if it was just another cupboard. The fridge freezer we didn't get from AG, that was the only appliance that we bought elsewhere. It's from Hot Point and it was the only one we could find, the only one that had this feature of a water and ice machine as well as fridge up top, freezer on the bottom with freezer compartments as opposed to a big drawer. So yeah, it's the only one we could find that had that. There were ones that looked like this that had water but not ice. And I didn't want that, we wanted an ice machine. We were gonna have this, we felt like it was more beneficial to have ice. One thing to note with this kind of a added feature that we had to think of in advance is to make sure we had running water to this area where the fridge was gonna be because this does have to be plumbed in. And I do love as well with this fridge freezer, even though we have both of these compartments as a freezer, you do have the option to use them as a fridge should you wish. You have um, the flexibility of making one or both into a fridge. So it could just be one big fridge unit and then you have chest freezer or something elsewhere. This is our induction hob. I'm just using to clean it my Dells for Farm 
which we might be going to soon. Uh, Rosemary Glass and Mirror Cleaner, which as you can tell, I'm kind of running out of. So who knows, may stock up on another one. And then I always use my Minky or some kind of glass cloth just because it just helps leave it streak free. And uh, yeah, they're great for that mirrors, stainless steel, anything really. But yeah, so we went for an induction hob. Originally, I wanted, or Tom wanted, a gas hob for cooking because I think temperature control is easier. And I was all for a gas hob, but I said if it was on the side as opposed to on the island, and then instead we would have the sink in the island. So that was an option. However, I think what Sway does was um, the nightmare of having to keep that clean versus this, for me anyway, I was thinking I'd rather an induction. And also Tom really wanted to, with him being the cook of the house, the chef of the house, he really wanted to be able to have people over whilst he's cooking, chatting to them as opposed to having his back turned the whole time. He kind of wanted the cooking as part of the experience with friends and family, which is definitely what we have um, loved doing and not only that even though i was particularly keen to have the sink in the island as opposed to the hob a friend of mine said don't do it because you will find things are left in the sink and i was thinking not in my house like brand new kitchen dream kitchen i'm definitely going to be putting pots away in the dishwasher nothing's gonna be left in the sink and for the most part we do that However, having said that, sinks can get a bit grubby and yeah, I'm actually really, really pleased that we put the sink on the back. We have a Belfast sink down in the basement, but this was kind of like the dupe version from DIY Kitchens. They did, I think they did do Belfast, but the double sink, which is what I wanted, they had this one from, it says Innova is the brand. But yeah, it's from DIY, DIY which is slightly cheaper, it's the same thing. Um, we decided to go for a Kruka tap as well, which is a um, hot, cold, but also boiling water. So we don't need a kettle. We actually don't have a kettle in this house anymore. We have the hot tap, good for like boiling water for pans, for your veggies, pasta, whatever you're cooking. It's also great for quick tea and coffee and this has been the best thing we've included in our kitchen we've used it so much the only thing i will maybe say as a slight regret is i think i believe they do do one that has sparkling water as well i maybe would have considered sparkling water had i looked into it a bit more and um, having said that i have sparkling water in the fridge i can always get it out and this finish as well that we went for is the antique brass which i really really like it's got a real distressed look to it as opposed to some other hot taps which are quite yellowy gold and just like the handles and the hardware from DIY kitchens I definitely wanted that more distressed gold within this room as opposed to same with the lights as well uh, these are from Jim Lawrence but the other thing to note with Gemini is that we also went for a splash back and shelf into a shelf with this we had to get these little brackets underneath uh, there's like six of them we had to make sure that there were mattresses behind the wall to support this shelf and the weight of it. But not only that, but we also had to fit the brackets ourselves. So Gemma and I sent them out and they were quite, I would say quite costly for a bracket, metal bracket. Had we have bought our own though, I think it was something to do with voiding the warranty. They weren't, you know, they knew that they were sending brackets sturdy enough. So therefore uh, we had to go with them. That was the only sort of negative I would say with Gemini with this shelf in particular. And then through here we also decided to add a little pantry which is a bit of a mess at the moment. We just have like air fryers in there, toasters, our larder unit. I've kind of given an overview of our uh, pantry before. Just allows for a bit of surface area that is away from the kitchen. And then through here we just have Hoover, dog bowl. I need to have a bit of a clear out. We have some bags that I have like to go, just to grab and go. And then also we've got this little unit from Zara Home, which we've been loving having kind of open shelving for things like onions, potatoes, fruits, carrots, that kind of thing. So we've had them just sat on there. Again, I can make it look a lot nicer and even add some labels, but that's just another job on my never ending to-do list. All our light switches and sockets are from Corsten. They are again in the antique brass. Our bar stools are from a brand called Ochre, a beautiful shop that we went to in Nutsford. They are online and I think they've got other shops.
shops as well, but that is where they are from. A dining table, which is pushed in at the minute because we had a bit of a yoga session the other day. So I need to bring that back out, but that is from Still and Bloom, as is this console. Flowers need replacing. <laughs> But uh, yeah, apart from that, and this vase actually, it's from the, it's Asda, the Stacey Solomon range. Poundland, gorgeous little spring cake stand, which we've had some yummy treats on, uh, empty at the moment, but just got some like her plants, our shelf has styled up. And yeah, if there's anything that you see anywhere that you want to know where it's from, just send me a message on Instagram. I'll try and link as much as I can in the description box below if you like, for instance, this little caddy here is Zara Home. Nice big olive tree in the corner, which is from Home Bargains and a William Wood arch mirror. Some little pots down here, which I love. I love these pots. They're really reasonable as well in price. They are from HomeSense or TK Maxx. I think about three or four pounds up to maybe eight to 10 pounds for the larger ones. What our kitchen's looking like. Flooring is from Sierra. It's in the shade Reclaimed Oak and we had it in the Herringbone with a single border. No need to go on and on about it, because I do, but the best washing up gloves ever, like a moisturizing inner, so you don't get that clammy feeling. They're white, obviously, and I will leave these linked as well. An absolute must buy for a fiver. Otherwise, any other questions, let me know. section because these ones are like with holly berries. Same with these candles as well. I have a candle cupboard down in the utility room which I might pop these candles in. Um, but they're just those same sort of church candles from a brand called Sostrin Green. So I'll have to do a trip there soon aren't we? It's been a while since we've been there but these little church candles. In fact I bet they would have had some really nice bits in for spring. I just feel like because Easter was so early this year, I'm kind of done with the spring decor. Like my little bunny salt and peppers, which I've got on the island tray, which are so adorable. I'm keeping out for a little bit because I still feel like it's so early. And I guess they are kind of spring, summer appropriate still. If you wanted to just have them out all year round, you could. But yeah, I just feel like I feel silly having Easter eggs and bunnies out when spring, when Easter has gone. Yeah, the dishwasher's on, as you can tell, with the red light on the floor. Um, but these are some of my seasonal bits. I thought I'd just give you a quick overview because I know that if it was me watching, I'd just like to be nosy to see what seasonal decor that um, whoever was showing had. Look, we didn't get around to using these. I just found them at the back of the cupboard. So annoying. We did have some other crackers that we used first, so. They'll save for next year, but anyway, pumpkins, star bowls, star placemats. I've got some spring, summer things here. Well, kind of like Valentine's with the hearts. I've also got more pumpkins over here. This is one of my favorite bowls, this Matalan pumpkin one. Absolutely love that, definitely keeping that. Seasonal candle, I basically keep this one here because I switched that one out when it's um, going to be autumn to the one that I've got up here, bergamot and olive. So I really like that for spring and summer. And then this one for autumn. Also got this cake stand, which obviously could be like a little kind of server display board as well. Some bits that aren't even seasonal can go elsewhere. All the Christmassy bits, we've got some snowflake um, server platters and cake stands, these little Neptune candle holders. These were five pounds, still got the sticker on the bottom. Just have a bit of a cull, a bit of a clear out and organize and pop them away neatly, which is the main thing. It's a bit chaotic-ish, but it's all organized and neatly stacked away now. So Christmas on top, then pumpkins and everything, autumn and Halloween on here. We've even got this section here, which is non-autumn. So we've obviously got this little board, these straws that I showed you and some Valentine's bits and we're done. Much better. 
on our island we do have this cupboard which is like the linens cupboard which oh everything is like falling out of it needs a huge organize and sort through I, i'm going to have a bit of a rejig of that to show you this as a before and the after is going to look hopefully very different <laughs> Wow, there was a lot more in this cupboard than I thought there was. So we have quite a bit of organization to do. <sighs> I think I'm gonna just pop on some YouTube, crack on with this and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. And here we have the after, just like that. I wish it was that quick. But anyway, I have just kind of organized it with all of my placemats here, tea towels here, aprons and in here is just like napkin rings these bread baskets are great by the way for hosting uh some little seagrass um coasters there at the back as well this is just a bag full of like linen bags or like this kind of material bags just small ones for like vegetables and stuff and then down at the bottom i've got all of my oven gloves here the um this is like actual bags bigger bags you know for if we needed to take for barney's bits if we were going away somewhere or for shoppers shopping bags that is those there and then on this side we've got tableware so napkins tablecloths and table protector and it's looking a whole lot better we are gonna head to the pub go watch some football head back and have our lamb dinner tonight and then yeah just have a chilled one really so thank you so much for watching this video hope you guys have enjoyed it again any questions that you've got and um, best way to get me is probably on instagram if you message me on there but any questions about the kitchen or anything at all let me know i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys